Good morning, everyone. Welcome. It's a pleasure to be here today to launch a new community firearm safety program called Project Child Safe Columbia, and also to discuss the importance of firearm safety and secure storage. My name is Joe Bartosi. I'm the president and CEO of the National Shooting Sports Foundation, and I'm also the chairman of the Project Child Safe Foundation. I'm honored to be here today with Columbia Mayor Daniel Rickenman. We have Captain Kelly Yates of the Columbia Police Department, along with a host of community organizations that have all joined us to support this initiative. And the organizations that are here today include uh, representatives from Congressman Joe Wilson's office, the Richland County Sheriff's Department, the Columbia Police Department, the West Columbia Police Department, the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, the South Carolina Department of Veterans Affairs, the Kershaw County Chapter of Armed Women of America, Sand Hill Shooting Sports, Put Down the Gun Now Young People Organization, the St. Paul, ba uh, Paul Baptist Church here in Columbia, as well as FN, one of our member companies, uh, and they have a factory here with over 400 jobs right here in South Carolina, so we're very happy to have them to show support of the industry for this initiative. And this program would not be possible without these groups' support, and we're grateful to have them involved. Now, for those of you that may be unfamiliar with Project Child Safe, it's a national firearm safety program that was founded in 1999 by the National Shooting Sports Foundation. The program promotes safe firearm handling and responsible gun ownership with a focus on securely storing guns when they're not in use. To date, the program has distributed more than 40 million free gun locks through partnership with more than 15,000 law enforcement agencies and community partners across all 50 states and five U.S. territories. Here in Columbia, we will provide thousands of free cable-style gun locks to gun owners through partnerships with the organization standing alongside me today. We're also offering free resources on firearm safety and suicide prevention. These locks and materials are available now to anyone who wants them, no questions asked, and they'll be available in the community moving forward. We also want to point out that keeping a gun on a nightstand, on a shelf, in a closet, on top of the refrigerator, etc., is not safe storage. That's why we're reminding gun owners to make sure their firearms are securely stored using one of the many available storage devices that best suits their lifestyle. We also know secure storage in the home and in vehicles can help play an important role in preventing thefts of guns and keep firearms out of the hands of criminals. We're doing all this because secure and responsible gun storage and ownership works. It's a real solution for safer communities and we know that firearm accidents are preventable. It's our hope that what begins here in Columbia will spread across the entire state of South Carolina to raise awareness of how gun owners can practice firearm safety in the home. We cannot stress enough that the success of Project Child Safe communities depends on the commitment and involvement of the community leaders and organizations. So again, we thank them for their support and we encourage all interested parties to reach out to us to learn more about how you can become one of our community supporters and help spread the important message of firearm safety. So once again, thank you very much for being here today. It's my pleasure to introduce Columbia Mayor Daniel Rickenman. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Joe. Uh, I'm very pleased to welcome NSF and Project Child Safe to our city. I want to thank all of our community partners, all those folks and groups that are listed. Obviously, our support from Congressman um, Clyburn's office, Congressman Wilson's office, and all the agencies that are here today. We appreciate it. It's a privilege to see everybody coming together and taking part in this. Obviously, as we all know, um, child safety is, is a, a big issue for us, especially when it comes to with guns. And having an opportunity for us to have secure storage using gun locks is the number one way to prevent firearm accidents. Child Project Child Safe exists to help gun owners that take steps to secure storage and spread the important message to their family, friends, and community. We, we had done here at the city several months ago a first step into this by, by creating that with our officers and pushing the, the cable locks out there. Here we have an opportunity to join a program with national attention, really to infiltrate our communities and share an opportunity for people to have storage, responsible use, and gun safety that protects all citizens in every neighborhood, no matter where you live. As part of this child uh, citywide initiative, our law enforcement, uh, local law enforcement community leaders will help share educational materials around the storage, the distribution of these, these cable locks. 
our law enforcement has been in partnership with Child Safe for several years. And I'd also like to take a moment to recognize Jack Logan, the founder of Put Your Guns Down Now. Where's Jack? Jack, thank you very much for what you do and being part of our community and being an outspoken uh, individual in our community to, to really push the issue forward. As you know, in our community, gun violence has, has increased roughly, Chief, tell me if I'm wrong, 18% over the last year. So for us, this hits home very hard, and we want to make sure that we do everything we can to support any option to reduce any accidents, any potential accidents or gun violence moving forward. I want to thank Project Child Safe for the hundreds of free gun locks that have already been distributed across the city. And I'd like to thank the citizens of Columbia for obtaining locks, putting them to use, and educating their families and neighborhood neighbors about firearm safety. We want as many Columbia residents as possible to know that these resources are available right now and so that gun owners can take action to keep them, their families, and their community safe. We look forward to working together in the community to promote the practice of firearm safety, not just here in Columbia, but across our entire state. I hope that Columbia, uh, as the capital city, will, will be the beacon to bring this issue forward and get more and more communities, no matter if they're, they're large, small, rural, urban, to come together and bring this issue forth and work together to put a lock on every gun that's out there. Ultimately, the importance of firearm safety is an issue to everyone we can agree on. But a few understand this better than our, our law enforcement community. With that, I'd love for y'all to give a warm welcome to my chief, our chief, the Capital City Police Chief, William Holbrook. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'm, I'm going to speak off script a little bit. Um, I, I, could, I could not think of a more important program for, for our city. Um, it, it certainly enhances some of the fantastic work we do. We know we've got a, um, an incredibly challenging problem with, um, with gun crime in our city. Um, I, I know the mayor acknowledged Mr. Logan. Um, is a, he's a great example of the, the grassroots um, action that's underway in our city and across our state with promoting um, gun safety. You know, we know we are a, um, um, a gun-friendly state, and um, we certainly um, applaud and recognize um, responsible gun ownership, and, and that's why this program really just goes hand in glove with that. Um, we, um, every day, every week, we touch hundreds of neighborhoods in our city and um, our, our, our department is based on community policing that's our foundation and um, when we visit these these neighborhoods and participate in these community meetings um, having a, a gun lock um, on our tool belt is really important and every meeting we go to we um, travel with with gun locks um, we we too have experienced uh, tragedy with uh, young people getting a hold of a gun um, and harming themselves. Um, it, it goes much beyond the injury or the fatality of, uh, of a young adult or a, um, a child. Um, it has everlasting effect on families, moms and dads, and, um, and, and neighborhoods where these uh, children live. Um, this is an incredible partnership, an important partnership. It's the right thing to do. And we're, um, we're so happy to be um, a part of this. It, the timing can be better as the mayor has stood up his Office of Gun Violence Prevention. Um, our uh, councilwoman, Dr. Oddity Bussels, um, has been instrumental in um, pushing child, child uh, gun lock safety. And um, so I think it's the, it's the timing's perfect. And this gives us greater capacity to reach people in our city. Uh, with this preventive um, program and um, and again I'm, I thank you for helping us um, we've got to drive down our, our gun violence but we also got to promote responsible gun ownership and uh, security and safety and so we thank you very much for that <clears throat> Thank you very much, Chief Holbrook, and thank you all again for being here 
as we launch Project Child Safe Columbia to continue to make communities across America safer. I invite any media in attendance to speak with me along with Mayor Rickman and Chief Holbrook at your convenience. I think we have a couple of interviews lined up, but I'll be happy to take those uh, you know, off, off, off stage, so to speak. But again, thank you all for being here. Really appreciate what you do. You know, spreading the message about secure storage and safe firearms handling is, is one of my passions, and uh, our industry is fully behind it, and we're very proud to be, be a part of this event. So again, thank you. Hi everyone, Councilwoman Oddity Bustles here at a local gun lock giveaway. As the person who launched Lock It Up Columbia, it means a lot to see our community getting engaged about safe gun storage and really continuing to promote efforts to reduce gun violence in our communities. It's also great to see our community partner with CPD, with the Sheriff's Office, and with so many other key stakeholders because it really does take a village to ensure that every child lives a life free from violence.